Hi boys and girls, welcome to day two, day two of week 32 Kids Daily Devotion. My name is Auntie Rashida. Let's get right into our lesson for today. Our scripture reader for today is from St. Matthew 5 verses 43 through to 48 and our memory verse is St. Matthew 6 verse 33. Our scripture reading for today is from St. Matthew 5, verses 43 to 48. We'll first read from the New International Reader's Version. You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor, hate your enemy. But here it is what I tell you. Love your enemies. Pray for those who hurt you. Then you will be children of your Father who is in heaven. He causes his sun to shine on evil people and good people. He sends rain on those who do right and those who don't. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Even the tax collectors do that. If you greet only your own people, what more are you doing than others? Even people who are ungodly do that. So be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. The King James Version reads, Ye have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despisefully use you, and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if we love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if he salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Here endeth a portion of God's holy words. Let's honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Okay, let's get right into what we have read. Jesus started his ministry by choosing his 12 disciples. And remember, Jesus' 12 disciples walked with him wherever he was going and while he was doing his miracles and his wonders. Jesus taught the people as they follow him around about the things that they should do. Here you see Jesus telling us to love one another, not just those who loves us, but those who hates us, those who uses us despitefully, and those who always cause us hurt. Jesus wants us to love one another. Do not love one more than the other. Love equally. Here it said in the scripture that we have heard of how we should love those who love us and hate our enemies. Well, no, no, Jesus came and he brought love for us. So guess what? We have to love one another. I want you to ask yourself this question. Am I living a life that will please Jesus for him to love me? Well, Jesus loves us. That is why he came to earth. If it's because of what we did last year or yesterday, Jesus would not love us? Well, that's a no-no. It doesn't matter what we have done or what we're doing. He still loves us. His love will never change. So my boys and girls, it doesn't matter what somebody did or is going to do to you. Just always love them. Remember to pray for them because it's love that makes the world go around. Okay. It's time for us to apply what we have learned to our hearts and life today. 
God has a plan for how his people should live. I want you guys today to just list three ways you can show love to others. For those with your journals, you can just make listings, put up your pages, yes, make your list of ways in which we can show love to others. And for those which are daily reading books, you can go ahead and complete your activity in the space provided. All right, it's time for the altar call. With our hands clasped and our eyes closed, dear Lord and our Savior, we thank you for coming to hurt. We thank you for being our Redeemer. We thank you for giving us all these lessons that we need to live a good life. Lord, you have taught us today how we should love our enemies. Love them just as how we love those who love us. I pray you touch our hearts to understand that we should always love. We should always be kind. We should always show, mighty Lord, that we are your children and we should do what you say. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, before we go, let's end with prayer, followed by the memory verse. With your hands clasped and your eyes closed. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me instructions on how to act and love others. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, that's it for today, day two. Now, I'll see you for day three of week 32, Kids Daily Devotion. Have a fantastic day. Our memory verse for this week is St. Matthew 6, verse 33. The New International Reader's Version reads, But put God's kingdom first. Do what he wants you to do, then all those things will also be given to you. The King James Version reads, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you.